Hey guys, in the last video we have seen what is a spanning tree and a minimum spanning tree. Today we are going to see an algorithm for finding out the minimum spanning tree. The name of the algorithm is Prim's algorithm. So this is the graph and we want to find out the minimum spanning tree from this graph. So these are the steps for this algorithm. So let's start. The first step is remove loops and parallel edges and while removing loops and parallel edges you have to keep the minimum weight edges okay so I will explain it here what does it mean so first is loops so where is the loop in this graph C this is the loop so this edge starts at E and ends at E so this is the loop so we will remove this loop we will directly remove this loop okay yes so for removing the loop you should not consider any weight or any cost okay you have to directly remove that loop edge right now the parallel edges so here you have to consider the weight now for the parallel edge here see CD there are two edges they are parallel to each other because they start from the same vertex and end at the same vertex okay so which edge should we keep so we will keep the minimum weight or minimum cost okay so what is the minimum cost out of these two six is the minimum cost so we will keep this and we will delete this edge which is having more cost because it was having cost 9 so 9 is more than 6 so I deleted this edge okay so the first step is over now now let's go for second step so in the second step here see we are going to add edges for the spanning tree so the second step says that while adding new edge so when we are adding new edge select edge with minimum weight out of what out of the edges from already visited vertices okay so these are the visited vertices we will write it in this set and these are the edges from the visited vertices means the edges which are incident on the visited vertices so suppose there is a vertex i okay so this is the vertex and these are the edges from this vertex so the edges which are connected to this vertex they are called as the edges incident on that vertex edges incident on that vertex or they are called as edges from that vertex okay so it is written here out of the edges from already visited vertices so we will write the set here and we will write those edges here as we go further in this algorithm okay and also while doing this a cycle should not be formed so no cycle is allowed while adding the edges okay so you should keep doing this till you reach to n minus 1 edges means suppose n is equal to here there are 10 vertices okay here there are 10 vertices so in this you have to take n minus 1 means 10 minus 1 edges so 9 edges so while converting this graph into a minimum spanning tree you have to take 9 edges and you have to stop when you add the 9th edge after adding the 9th edge you have to stop this algorithm now let's start with the second step okay now the first edge for the first edge so see for the first edge you can choose any vertex so the first vertex you can choose so I choose vertex A as the first vertex and the first edge will be from vertex A okay so see the visited vertex is A now so what are the edges incident on vertex A so see for vertex A the edges incident are AB and AC AB and AC so AB comma 
AC. These are the edges incident from vertex A. What are the weights? 1 and 7. Okay. These are the weights. Now you have to select edge with minimum weight from these edges. Okay. Minimum weight from these edges. So what is minimum? AB is minimum. So I take edge AB. So I take edge AB. Okay. The weight is 1. Right. So as edge AB is taken, now B adds to the visited vertices set. Because now AB makes vertex B as the visited vertex. Okay. So it is added. And edge AB is cancelled from this set. Because it is now added to the spanning tree. Right. So this is for the first edge. So this is the first iteration. Now let's go for second edge. Second edge. Okay. So see. Now again we will go. <coughs> while adding new edge, select edge with minimum weight out of the edges from already visited vertices. Okay. So, what are the already visited vertices? They are A and B. Right. So, write all the edges incident on A and B in this set. But you can see here, we have already written edges incident on A. We have already written them here. So, we have to add the edges from vertex B. No. So, from vertex B, see the first edge is BA. But it is already written in the set. So, no need to take again. Now, second edge is BC, then BD and BE. So, BC, BD, and BE. Right? Now write the weights for BC 5, BD is 3 and BE is 4. So 5, 3, 4. Okay? So these are the edges and their weights. Now the current set is this. Now from this set you have to choose the minimum. So choose what is the minimum? BD is the minimum. So add that edge, this BD. Add that edge. What is the weight? Weight is 3. Right? So because of edge BD, now D becomes the visited vertex. D is added to this set. And BD will be cancelled because it is added to the spanning tree. Right? So these are very simple steps. You just have to follow the steps. Now, Let's go for the third edge. So the third edge. Now you have to write edges from the visited vertices. So now visited vertices are A, B and D. So ideally you have to write all the edges from A, B, D in this set. But we have already written the edges from A and B. We have already written them here. So we have to just add the edges incident on D. What are the edges incident on D? DC, then DE, DH, and DJ. So DC, DE, DJ, and DH. There is also an another edge that is DB, but this DB is already added to this set. That is this edge BD. See, edge BD is same as edge DB. Because this is an undirected graph. So that edge is already added. So we don't add this edge. Okay. We add all other edges. So let's add. So DC. DE. DH and DJ. Right. Write the weights now. 1 for DC. DE is 2, DH is 9, and DJ is 3. Now, from this whole set, now what is the minimum weight that is DC, the weight 1. So add that. So we add DC. 
so vertex c is added what is the weight that is 1 so as vertex c is added it is written in the visited vertices set and hdc is cancelled because it is added to the spanning tree now let's go for the fourth edge so write all the edges from this visited vertices a b d and c but a b d is already written so only add the new edges from vertex c so from vertex c yes from vertex c all the edges are already there in the set so no need to add any edge here just choose the minimum from this set okay so what is the minimum d e is the minimum right so add that edge to the spanning tree so d e is minimum what's the weight weight is 2 okay that is added to the spanning tree so e is added to the visited vertices set and d e will be deleted from here because d e is added to the spanning tree now let's go for the fifth edge now for the fifth edge you have to write all the edges incident on a b d c e but up to a b d c all the edges are written here so just add edges for e so edges incident on e are c e f e h e f and e h these are the two edges e d and e b is also there but they are already visited so we don't need to write them here okay so only e f and e h so write e f and e h what are the weights 1 and 4 1 and 4 okay so now what is the minimum in this set e f is the minimum so add that to the spanning tree so i add e f weight is 1 okay so i added e f to the spanning tree so this edge is deleted and f is added to the visited vertex set this is the visited vertex set f is added to that set i will write this f here because i need space for this graph so i will write that in the next line okay so this step is over now let's go for the sixth edge now for the sixth edge again add the edges incident on f to this set so what are the edges incident on f f g okay this is the edge and f e is also there but it is already visited means it is already in the set so no need to write it again so only f g is there f g so now f g so weight is 2 now let's see what is the minimum yes f g is the minimum so add that what's the weight weight is 2 so g is added to the visited vertices set and fg will be deleted from here okay now let's go for seventh edge now for seventh edge edges incident on g is added so gh this is added to the set i will write it here gh is added what's the weight weight is so from this set what is the minimum now c 75493 3 is the minimum so dj is the minimum in this set so we have to add dj here it is okay so dj so i add j what's the weight weight is 3 so dj is the minimum currently in this set so see this step proves that the minimum is not necessarily from the currently visited vertex see the currently visited vertex was g but this time the minimum is not from the currently visited vertex this is from previously visited vertex okay some people may misunderstand that it is always from the currently visited vertex but it is not so okay now as j is added you have to add j to the visited vertices set and dj will be deleted okay so let's go for 8th age now now for the 8th age see 
add ages incident on j so for j j k okay that is the age what is the weight for j k weight is 4 now currently in the set check which one is minimum 7 5 4 9 4 8 4 okay so 4 is the minimum so you can take any of the three ages i will take b e so where is b e c this is b e so i choose b e but now here is another condition that is no cycle is allowed so i cannot take b e okay that is why i cannot take b e so i have to skip b e and go for next four that is the next minimum so e h now e h check yes e we can take e h because it does not form a cycle so this is clear now if a cycle is formed then it is not allowed so we have to skip that age and we have to take the next minimum so e h is added so i delete this and h is added to the visited work as this set now let's go for the ninth age so for the ninth age see incident ages on h let's add them see there are four ages incident but out of those four ages these three are already processed in this set they are already processed only one age is remaining that is hk so i will add it so hk is 7 now what is the minimum currently see 754 so again be is minimum but it forms a cycle so we should skip it and go for next minimum that is jk so see jk yes that does not form a cycle so i can take that so the weight is 4 now and jk is taken you have to add k to the visited vertices set okay and jk will be deleted means it is indicated as it, it is processed so Let's go for the 10th age. Yes. So this 10 is greater than 9. Means 10 is greater than n minus 1 here. Because n is 10. So 10 minus 1 is 9. So here we stop. As 9 ages are over in this spanning tree. Here we stop. So this is the minimum spanning tree for this graph. So this is the way Prim's algorithm finds out the minimum spanning tree. Means the important step is this. Select age with minimum weight out of the edges from already visited vertices. And don't form a cycle anywhere. Hey friends, please subscribe to my channel as I post algorithm videos every day. And if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you